Okay, guys, so this is the a short video on this moment. And um, it focuses on appreciating a moment in time. So appreciating all those little moments, appreciating um, all the little things that happen and taking stock and being more present. Um, it's a short poem. There's no real structure to the rhythm. Um, it's very straightforward at neighborhood a neighborhood at dusk she sets a very strong scene for us here um, and again she's using that dusk time as a sort of magical time um, stars are getting ready to appear um, in that second stanza and she talks about things are getting ready to happen out of sight so um, it sounds like there's magic in the air and she talks about how um, it's important to just exist in a moment because that moment won't ever exist in the same way again. So it's a, a snap snap a snap shot between day and night, and both the reader, us, and the speaker, Boland, is occupying that liminal space. Okay, so that time between day and night. So it's both day and it's both night. It's like Schro Schrodinger's time. The imagery is very clear. It's very straightforward. It's something that we can understand. And it's a time that we've all existed in ourselves. We've all had one of those um, summer evenings where it's just start, we're starting to lose the light um, and we can see all those um, tricks the light plays on us. And it can be a very magical time. Um, the use of enjambment and that unstructured um, Cesera or the use of um oops so or the use of um enjambment forces the reader to exist in the moment okay forces the reader to slow down um and there are a few details in the poem it's very straightforward and yet it sets a really magical scene for us um, it allows the reader to create their own mental image and something similar to what she does in um, Love later on when she says, I see you as a hero in a text and we all have different views of what heroes are. So it means we can all identify with it in some way. Um, so she uses a foreshadowing, that idea of creating an event that predicts what will happen later. Things are getting ready to happen out of sight stars and moths and then at the end of the poem the stars rise and the moths flutter and the apples ripen they sweeten in the dark so she predicts that these things will happen and time passes and regardless of um how we exist in our moments this too shall pass like time goes on and if we're not careful time will continue on and we'll lose out so the poem is quite lyrical itself despite its unstructured rhythm and ski rhyming scheme it's very straightforward um it's very warm and comforting that idea of one window is yellow as butter is a really um comforting image and there's something about like butter and the yellowness of it um, and of course that does reflect the season as well and the time of year and the light um so it all is supported there too um and that really comforting wholesome image of a woman leans down to catch a child who was run into her arms this moment so it's about appreciating those that time um for us we don't know what it's like to be a mother but we certainly know what it's like to exist in beautiful moments and i think we can all identify with times when we thought um or when we didn't appreciate a moment and we look back now and go, oh God, you know, I'd love to have that time again. And we often take things like that for granted. And that's what Boland essentially is talking about here. So it's encouraging us to exist in the moment, to be present, to avoid, um, I suppose, getting lost in um, other things that are unimportant, but appreciating what's around us. And I think that's a really strong message to be sending, especially in this current climate. So the um, larger theme here is time and its fleeting nature and how time can just move on so quickly 